because you know what was your first big investment then since you were making that type of money well my, my first uh big investment after that was to just go into business for myself so okay. i'm like you know, why are you working for anybody so then i just started making up businesses you know I, the great thing about being a salesman is why i try to give people like sales skills first when you're a salesman it's almost impossible not to be able to build anything you know so actually after i stopped doing that i just started making up businesses like i made up one business if i can remember i think i called it like national trade school marketing group or something like that so instead of going to work for a trade school i just called on all the trade schools and i asked them you know who are you trying to recruit? You know, back in those days, it was like trucking schools. There was a company called Control Data. You probably haven't even heard of it. Mm -mm. Uh, early computer companies or whatever. So I signed up all these trade schools. And I used to just ask them, well, how much do you pay your salespeople? And how much do you pay for advertising? What does it cost you to get a student? Okay, then just give me all that money. That's it. You know, I'll bring you students. And so then I just went to... Uh, neighborhood action committees and things like that and you know because most people they try to channel a kid into something if like if you work for a truck driving school then you're trying to talk a kid into driving trucks i signed up with all the schools so i was just able to ask a kid what do you want to do <laughs> you know what i mean mm. i made a ton of money doing that and then uh i met a girl this little redhead girl i didn't date her or anything but she happened to be a graphic designer and I was like, hmm, you know, so what would I do with that? So I was like, you know, we could start a company. I forgot what we called it. But uh, I just learned that, you know, media buyers, they get 15% for all the media that they place. And so I used to tell her, I'm going to try something. I'm like, I went and got a newspaper. I would look for bad ads. I would tell her, design me a good ad. Make this ad good. And I would go into a business and I would say, let me show you this ad. This is your ad. Looks like shit. I'll give you this ad for free if you let me place the media. Boom.